I'm on Wilshire Boulevard right now in Los Angeles, specifically 5055 Wilshire Boulevard. And this building was the exterior of the Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills and the classic TV show, The Beverly Hillbillies. And I'm out here today because of the feature of today's video. The featured individual in today's video is Nancy Culp. Nancy Culp is the actress who played Miss Jane Hathaway. Miss Jane Hathaway was the secretary of Mr. Drysdale, the president of the bank. And this was the fictitious location of, uh, of the bank and the exterior location for the bank. They did actually come out here a couple of times. I remember uh, specifically uh, a point where that uh, classic jalopy car uh, pulled up in front of this uh, building. So this is the Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills. And today's video is about Nancy Culp. Nancy Culp was born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She graduated with a degree in journalism. She joined the women's branch of the U.S. Naval Reserves in World War II, for which she received the American Campaign Medal. She was honorably discharged in 1946. Now, she did get married to a man, Charles Malcolm Dacus. She ultimately moved to Hollywood to work for the MGM Publicity Department, and she and Dacus divorced in 1961. George Cukor suggested she make a go of it as an actress. She had small parts in a few films, including Judy Garland's A Star is Born, Shane, Sabrina, and the original Parent Trap. But Nancy found more success as a character actress on television with The Bob Cummings Show. In 1956, Nancy filmed an episode of the TV show I Love Lucy when the gang were on a trip to London. Called Lucy Meets the Queen, Nancy plays a chambermaid who walks in on Lucy and Ethel practicing to meet the Queen. Nancy attempts a cockney accent with painful results, almost worse than Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. Almost. A term I haven't heard until today, a mockney accent. Not the prettiest girl on the block, Nancy was cruelly referred to as television's most homely girl, or as one critic said, she had the face of a shriveled balloon, the figure of a string of spaghetti, the voice of a bullfrog in mating season. Ouch. But still, Nancy traded well on that image and was a success at it. Her stint as the love-starved secretary, Miss Jane Hathaway, on the Beverly Hillbillies from 1962 to 1971, won her an Emmy. After the Beverly Hillbilly show ended, Nancy did a few television appearances here and there, but decided to return to her native Pennsylvania. She was passionate about politics and inspired by the desire to serve her country again, so in 1984, Nancy ran for Congress. Several Hollywood actors, including Ed Asner, have recorded testimonials for Nancy, and in one ad, unfortunately, Nancy implied that all of the Beverly Hillbillies were endorsing her. Buddy Ebsen, uh, Jed Clampett, a staunch conservative, got wind of it and felt the need to step in and clarify that Culp was, quote, just too liberal for him. In an ad that Ebsen recorded, he endorsed the opposing party and Culp lost the election. It was known in Hollywood that Nancy was a, quote, confirmed bachelorette. My pal Bose Hadley once questioned her about her sexuality, and her response was, as long as you reproduce my reply word for word and the question, you may use it. I'd appreciate it if you'd let me rephrase that question. There is more than one way. Here's how I would ask it. Do you think that opposites attract? My own reply would be that I'm the other sort. I find that birds of a feather flock together. That answers your question. I found this unusual photo shoot that Nancy did featuring herself dressed as Ellie Mae Clampett, Lucille Ball, Barbara Streisand, Baby Jane Hudson, Sophia Loren, and a glamour shot of her as Carol Baker. At the end of her life, Nancy Culp, with her beloved dogs, divided her time between Pennsylvania, Florida, and California. She was diagnosed with cancer of the larynx and returned to Los Angeles for treatment. 
Her last interview was on the TV show Entertainment Tonight. She confessed to having the disease, and it was clear that her health was failing. Nancy came to Palm Springs to die. Some reports state that Nancy lived in Palm Springs. She was involved with charity work with the Humane Society of the Desert and United Cerebral Palsy and the Desert Theater League. This is probably true, but her stated address on her death certificate is Juanita, Pennsylvania, and it also states clearly that this house belonged to a friend. It was in this house that Nancy Culp died on Sunday, February 3, 1991, at 12.25 a.m. She was 69 years old. Nancy's body was taken to Wifels and Son Mortuary in Palm Springs. She was cremated and taken back to Pennsylvania for burial in Westminster Presbyterian Cemetery in Mifflintown, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate it. Please like if you like, dislike if you like, subscribe if you like, and please hit the little bell button if you want to be notified of when I post new videos. You'll be notified immediately. I thank you for your support. Take care. Thank you for watching and be safe. Back in 1993, when Jerry Springer, the talk show host, was still doing legitimate stories instead of you know, real life business. Uh, they did a special Hillbillies reunion up in San Francisco. He was up there for a week filming. And my buddy, Steve Cox, who wrote the book about the Beverly Hillbillies, invited me along. And it was a lot of fun. The, the show was great. And to be able to hang out with Donna Douglas and Buddy Ebsen and Max Bear, we even had dinner with Max, and uh, Louis Nye, the comic actor Louis Nye, who played Zombo on the Munsters, he was there too because he played Sonny Drysdale. Uh, that was a dream. That was a really incredible day hanging out with the Hillbillies. But uh, one person I didn't get to hang out with was Nancy Culp, though I did speak to her on the phone once. We did talk briefly about her political career, uh, but that was about it. You heard me.